Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screaming Door. I'm here with uh, Jesse and FMA Pulse. And today we're going to be showcasing some of the Amara fighting system, which I just got certified. Apparently I've been certified this whole time to kind of teach you guys some of the concepts of Amara fighting system of Supreme Grandmaster Val Pableo. So today what we're going to be working on, is one of the major changes that we learned working with him is the checking. Um, Marita? So before the checking was... Right, where I would kind of do this, so the kawit, right? Kawit in Tagalog means a, a hook or a fisherman's hook, right? So this is my check would be here, right? So if she decides to strike me to the other side, there's my check here. Again, the rule is, so the rule of thumb is go for the thumb. It's my little play on words. Okay, so when she strikes me to the other side, I open up my hand and again, I go for the thumb, go to the other side, I go for the thumb, I go for the thumb, right? Now with armor fighting concept, when she checks, my hand is here, what I call the double 90. 90 degree here and 90 degree here. And my fingers are not like leaning forward, it's, it's, it's pulled back. We want her fist to be here at the palm of my hand, right? So now the, 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 the goal here is to keep the double 90. So then when she decides to strike to the other side here, I'm keeping the double 90. Then she strikes to the other side, here, I'm keeping the double 90. Other side again, here, and then here, keeping the double 90. If you also notice that my hand is now horizontal, thumb is down, right? So when, she, when she's here, she's striking, right? It's here, go to the other side, here, right? That's one of the major differences for that. And then we're gonna actually have you guys, Jesse, we're gonna kind of demonstrate how the difference of that feeling. All right, so we were talking about like before I would check here, again, mm -hmm. you strike to the other side. Yeah. I would check here and then strike to the other side. I would check here, right? Going always for the thumb. Now the difference is hand is open, right? There you go. So no matter what, what side, so then if you decide to come to this side, I'm twisting or I'm stepping out here, keeping that 90. And then if you go to the other side, here, keeping that double 90. Now, just so you can feel the difference. Hey, your hands here. So check my hand, right? So what I want you to do is keep your fingers closed. All right. You want don't. Yeah, keep oh, you said yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. So keep it. So I'm gonna push and mm -hmm. pu don't let me push you. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, so you can feel that I'm. Yeah, going forward. Going forward. Okay. Relax. Okay. Open your fingers as wide as possible. Okay. Keep it. There you go. Wider. Now push. You feel a lot more stable? Yeah. Right? Now close your fingers again. Yes. Yeah, Open different. your fingers? Yeah. Close your fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, so you can feel the difference, right? And this is the, this is the genius of uh, Supreme Grandmaster Val. He makes little changes, but big impact. Right? Let me do another one to you. So the way I've been holding my stick before, these are the, these three fingers. Sorry, okay. are you okay? I'm yeah. talking to my stick. My um, <laughs> uh, these three fingers is what I'm holding the stick with, while these two are pretty much loose. What SGM Val wants us to do is just hold it like this, and these three are loose. Now, we're not holding it like this, right? But we are keeping our fist closed, but the, 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 where I'm just squeezing it is the index and the thumb finger. So now, I want you to squeeze it with your whole hand. Yeah. Okay, you squeeze with your whole hand. I'm gonna pull, right? I'm gonna pull again. Right, okay. Now squeeze with the top two fingers only. Just close it, but just squeeze with it, okay? <laughs> See, it's harder for me to pull you now. Here, let me do it, let me show you the difference. I'm so, squeezing my whole hand, try to pull my forearm. Yeah. Okay, I'm a big person. Yeah. Right, I'm big boy screamador. <laughs> so I'm, okay, now here, I'm squeezing these two. Go. <laughs> yeah, so it's got moving only one part as opposed to his whole body. Yeah. So those are the immediate changes that, we're, that, that you can automatically see that traditional, and remember, Supreme Grand Master Val came from the Dose Paris lineage and so did I. The traditional checking has always been the Kawi where it's here, right? And then you go to the other side, then it's here. Go to the other side, it's here. Go low, here still, right? Going for the thumb. Go to the other side, going low, going high, here, right? 
So he went and just completely changed it. So, so again, one more time, just here. So that no matter where he decides to go, I'm keeping it 90 degree. Keeping it 90 degree, right? Here, here. Now, one of the questions that we always get is what if he retracts his arm further back? The idea here, he call, SGM calls this the wall, mm -hmm. right? So as long as you don't penetrate the wall, we're good, right? I'm defended. But if you retract and I extend, mm -hmm. I'm no longer my double 90. And yes, you can start reaching over and pulling me, right? Yeah. So what SGM wants us to do, what if he, let's say he retracts to the other side, I check now with my forearm, right? And the, the, the reasoning behind that is that normally, if I'm fighting somebody who is, you know, orthodox fighter, right-handed, mm -hmm. that means I'm checking with my left hand. Or more concisely, I'm ch you're fighting me with your dominant hand, and I'm checking you with my non-dominant hand. So, of course, your arm will be stronger than my arm because this is my non-dominant hand, unless you're ambidextrous, right? So when it, when it gets to that point where it's too far from this wall, you pull back, boom, I check with this. Notice where I'm checking is right here. I won't prevent you from coming in with your left arm except to go this way, right? But then, of course, when that's coming up, I turn here, strike. Then I turn, roll over this side, strike. Then I start, come back here again, flywheel here. And that's what we're going to be showcasing right now is the, 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 the basic three and four counts of armor um, um, fighting counter. Okay. So you're saying open up as wide as you can. Yes. And then the okay. Right. Only those two fingers are yeah, tight. Yeah, only things, but you keep your fist closed, of yep. course. But yeah, those are the only ones that are tight. So then as far as checking is concerned, fingers as wide open as possible here again. Yep. Right. If I push, I'm not penetrating. Yeah. Close your fingers. Locked right up. now how he does that I, I think he puts black magic i don't know <laughs> i don't know how he does it but the quick difference is that yeah no matter it, just your fingers being closed is here right yep. then if you open your fingers wide <laughs> yeah you can feel it i mean i know you guys can't feel it over the camera but you can feel it as a as a holder that this has this more stability than your fingers closed then imagine more if you're go for my thumb. Yeah. Right? And I, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get through. Then of course I can just we, we take we take pop up and flywheel.